Hey guys, this is Jay. Today we are going to see how to design this party flyer in Photoshop. Before getting started, please do download the project file, link in the description. With the project file, it will be much easier for you to follow this tutorial. So download the project file and get ready for the class. In case if you want the completely designed .psd file means hit the like button soon after reaching 100 likes, I'll give you the download link. Fine, let's get started. First go to the project file, open the flyer psd inside photoshop. This one is a design ready file. This template includes bleed space. I also include the color palette, the colors we are going to use in this design. Fine. Next we are going to create solid color background. Further go to the background group. Create a layer. Now go to color picker. Sample and select this dark purple color. Fill the color. I used the keyboard shortcut alt backspace. Next we are going to drop in our images now go to the project file open image one inside photoshop now drag and drop the image inside our canvas now enable free transform tool ctrl t and resize it make sure to place the image inside our image group folder fine next we are going to drop in our model image go to the project file open image two inside photoshop drag and drop the image inside our canvas Make sure to place the image right below the mountain image. Now enable free transform tool control T and resize it. Fine, I'll select this one. Next we are going to add circle shapes. For that go to the design one folder, create a layer. Now go to color picker, select white color. Now pick the ellipse tool, this one. Now make sure fill is enabled. Now disable stroke. Now by holding shift key create a perfect circle shape like so. I'll place it at the center. If you want you can resize it. Now I'm going to add gradient effect to this shape for that right click blending option. Select gradient overlay. There click the gradient bar, select the first one. On left side, I'm going to sample and select this purple color. On the middle, I'm going to create a new color stop. I'm going with this pink color. Now on right side, I'm going to sample and select this dark red color. Now click OK. Now adjust the position if you want. I'll keep the blending mode as normal, opacity as Android. Make sure reverse is enabled. I'll keep the angle as 90 and scale as 150. Now click the gradient editor again. Select new so that our gradient will be saved as a new file. We are going to use that later. Now click OK. Next we are going to create 4 duplicate copies. I'm using keyboard shortcut Ctrl J. I'll move it to right side. Now enable free transform to control T and resize it. I'll make it a little bit smaller. I'll create another copy, control J. I'll place it here. Fine. Next I'm going to create two copies on left side. Select the respective shape, this one, control J. Move it to the left side. Now smaller one. Fine. You can adjust the spacings by using your keyboard arrow keys. Once you are done, next we are going to add our triangle shape. For that, go to Design 2 folder, create a layer. Go to Color Picker, sample and select white color. Now pick the Shapes tool, select Polygon tool. This one. Make sure fill is disabled, stroke is enabled. I'll select white color here. I'm going with 30 pixels. Now make sure the size is 3. Now create a perfect triangle shape like so. I'll place it at the center. If you want, you can use guidelines. Fine. Next, we're going to add our layer style for that. Select the circle shape, any circle shape. Right click and copy the layer style. Now select the triangle layer, paste the layer style, there you go. Next we are going to add masking layer to our triangle layer. 
we're going to just mask the top part this one the triangle part covering the head now go to color picker select black color now pick the brush tool select soft round brush this one sorry hard round brush now mask the part we don't want in case if we make mistake like so means no problem all you got to do is select white color unmask the part now continue the process next we are going to create some random rectangle shapes for that create a layer now go to shapes tool select rectangle tool now make sure fill is enabled select white color now disable the stroke now create a rectangle shape like so fine next we are going to paste our layer style for that select the shape right click and paste the layer style we copied previously now i'm going to create few duplicate copies using keyboard shortcut control j if you want you can enable free transform tool control t and resize the shape to your likings fine i'll settle this one next we're going to add our text content for that go to the text folder create layer go to color picker select white color the font i'm using is a free font i'll give a link in the description you can download it if you want with size as 29 and style as regular i'll type my header i'll create a duplicate copy i'll reduce the size a little bit next i'm going to add my website address i'll reduce the size to 7 pixels now enable free transform tool and give a 90 degree anti clockwise rotation i'll place it here fine once your text is added next we are going to add glow effect for that go to the background folder create a layer go to color picker sample and select this pink color now pick the brush tool select soft round brush this one now increase the size now change the layer blending mode to linear dodge add now give a single click to create such kind of glow effect now our flyer is almost ready as a final step we are going to add few more effects for that go to the effects folder create a layer curve layer select scion i'll move the curve a little bit up of course it's optional you can play with the curves to get your kind of color tone you want next i'll select magenta i'll move the curve a little bit up next i'm going with yellow curve move the top curve alone a little bit up fine next i'm going to add a gradient map layer for that create a gradient map adjustment layer now select the gradient editor now pick the file we saved previously this one now click ok now change the blending mode to overlay now i'll reduce the opacity down to 40 percent there you go now our flyer is ready all you got to do is disable the color palette now go to file click save as save the file as pdf or png and get it printed so that's it guys i hope this video is useful to you don't forget to hit the like button for more tutorials subscribe to my channel and please do check out my other videos thanks for watching take care